Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so this week it is almost Valentine's Day and we are soon approaching the spring and I wanted to do a really fun sort of bouquet gift painting so I came up with this uh, bouquet of roses in a cowboy or cowgirl boot. <laughs> uh, really cute, really fun and perfect for Valentine's Day. I have my four standard brushes here that I'm gonna use. These are from the brush kit that I use almost every time and recommend. And the sizes that I use are a large one, one inch wash brush, square brush there, uh, and then a medium sized pointed brush, and then two small detail brushes. Gonna get those in the water cup off the side of the screen. The colors that I have to start out with just for the background step, I have white, a little bit of ultramarine blue, very small amount of my gorgeous phalo green, a little bit of a warm brown, I have burnt sienna here, and a little bit of black as well. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so to start out with today, I think I'm going to grab my second to smallest detailed brush here and I'm going to do something that I do in a lot of my paintings that sort of gives me a sense of place within the painting and I'm going to use a very light gray just as a sketch color a little bit of water always into the paint helps it go nice and smooth and I'm going to block out here the two portions of my painting that I'm going to have that are going to be down here which is my table or floor, my shiny floor maybe. And then I have a wood background here that's like a wooden wall um, was where I was going with that. And then we're just going to break the canvas up into two parts, um, about a third of the way up. So I have one section that's a third and one section that's two thirds. And I'm just going across the canvas with a horizontal line, simple as pie. And then I'm going to retire that small brush for now. And I'm going to grab my large brush. A little bit of water once again on the brush in the paint. Helps everything flow nicely. I'm going to mix up a beautiful light brown color, very simple. And I'm just going to start working my way across the top portion here going up and down and I want to leave a few little areas where I'm going to sneak in a little bit of some light green here in just a minute so this was sort of like a western antique kind of wall since we in this painting have the cowgirl boots I thought it would be cute to add a little bit of sort of like a, oh, like a wall sponge effect, antiqued look. I'm not sure the, the word for it. Let me know in the comment section. I grab my medium sized brush here with my green and a little bit of white to add this second color in. All right, we just want a few stripes of it. Just here and there. How would you apply this to a wall? The sponge? Or like a, a rag or something? Rustic, that's the word I was looking for before. Rustic look. Perfect. Just a little bit and you can kind of create almost like a little uh, modern art on its own for this top section here and we're not blending these colors too much and that's why i like to put the green on a little bit of white because they're going to blend to a sort of neutral brownish gray which is maybe not the prettiest all right but that's looking really good and then i think a little tiny bit more 
up in this corner since that corner got left out. A little bit blending there. So you can see the green on top of the brown is not as vibrant as when you leave spaces for it with the white. All right, and go ahead and let that area dry now and move down into this bottom third. I think I'll stick with, hmm, yeah, the big brush. Gonna grab Big Mama again. And I'm going to mix up a beautiful blue, kind of a steely blue color mixed with some of my black. A little bit more blue. All right. And that's going to be the color here for this section down here. And I'm going to bring that all the way up and cover that original sketch line that I had, that original differentiator horizon line between the two sections. Trying to get as straight of a line as I can. It's okay if you come up a little bit into the next section as you try to straighten things. All right, that looks straight enough. Okay, and then get that whole canvas all filled in. And we're going back and forth with these brush strokes instead of the up and down from before but every little bit of that canvas is going to be filled in with paint and our sketch line is going to be covered. I'm going to just dip my brush in a little bit of white and make it a little bit lighter here towards the front. Just for a little bit of wet on wet blending. And then we're going to step away and let this layer fully dry. And then when we come back, we will add a whole bunch more. So I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a dry background and a whole bunch of new fresh colors here on this piece of palette paper. So I once again have some black and white. I also have a little bit of cadmium red, some beautiful violet, tiny little bit of phthalo green, and a tiny little bit of cadmium yellow. Let's go ahead and jump right back on into it. I also rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break. I'm gonna grab my second to smallest detail brush and we're gonna do the boot now. We're gonna start with a sketch and I'm gonna use just white to do this sketch. All right, and I don't wanna go too far down or too far up. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna start kind of with the heel and the toe. And I wanna probably do my heel and toe first lines here about halfway uh, in this lower section. And so I'm going up about halfway here and then I'm coming in a little bit. And then I'm going to start with my first little line here, just a straight horizontal line and this is the heel of the boot. And I'm gonna go over maybe about an inch or two, or less than that, and create a little heel. So ever so slightly curved out with those lines, and then a straight line on top. And then I'm gonna come forward a little bit and do the toe, and that's gonna come right about to there or so. Okay, a little longer. And then this is going to be connected up like so. And then my toe, gonna have that come up a little bit and round a little bit. And then we're gonna start this sort of foot shape. And this can be adjusted as need be. And this is our heel back here. So we're going to be coming up from there. going to go a little bit 
thread her down with that line, which is going to make me have a little bit taller heel, adjust as needed. All right, and then bringing this up this direction. I'm going to curve out a little bit for the heel over here as well. And I'm using my pen, my brush like a pencil here. Um, and, and when you're sketching, you keep the outermost sketch line, and then usually you erase the inside lines. Um, but in this case, we're going to keep the outermost one, and then we can fill in later. And I'm going to come to the top part here to do the top of my boot with a little curved line like so, and then just sort of connect my sections. I think I went a little big with the toe, so I'm going to go a little bigger with my boot up here. like so and then on the other side there doesn't look that cowboy -y, to be honest a little bit more of a pointed toe but you know it looks like a boot so we're gonna go ahead the cowboy cowgirl part will come with the detailing Okay, and speaking of detailing, we're also going to come from the front here and create a little subsection. I have a curved line like so, and then a swoop, and another swoop. Okay, so this is our outermost section here that we're keeping, and then we'll have this section up here. And we can go ahead and grab our medium sized brush now for some filling in and I'm just going to make a beautiful bright pink for this top section and I'm going to fill it right up to that sketch line and I'm just going to try to make sure that I cover the white lines if they blend a little bit that shouldn't be too much of a Castle to just kind of blend it into your red to your pink. Okay, so keeping that outermost sketch line. Go across here. And we'll go down the other side. It'll, it'll look like a short go. It'll be fine. Trust the process. Just getting that all filled in nicely. Feel free to use a smaller brush if you would prefer. That gives you a little bit more control. The harder you press on your brush, the thicker that line is gonna be though. So if you have very, very gentle texture, gentle pressure rather, you can get a pretty thin line even with a medium sized brush. All right, just filling that again into the sketch lines, covering those sketch lines, making sure that we have a nice opaque first layer of color there. Looking good. All right, and then I think I'm going to grab my smaller brush for the lower section which I'm going to do with black. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my black. So dark, dark gray. And I'm gonna use this color now just to fill in the bottom part of the boot. And we're going to cover our sketch lines in that same way we did up top only now down below and again we may need to sort of blend that white a little bit into our black and that's okay all right and 
little bit of blending with my sketch line. All right, we're looking pretty cute. Take this black line all the way up to this little section here. Again, just making sure all my sketch lines are covered. This boot is, of course, totally customizable, so really any two colors you like. I had to think long and hard what colors I wanted my boot to be. But I had to go with the black and pink for Valentine's Day. This painting was made with Valentine's Day in mind, but I think it would look, would be really cute for any sort of bouquet worthy occasion. And then yes, the cowboy or cowgirl boot could be any color as you like. Getting that all filled in with our base. Colors looking nice and clean. And taking the opportunity always to sort of adjust any of the shapes as needed. Okay. I think I'm gonna bring this heel out just a little bit more. Making sure that my toe section makes sense with the size of everything in comparison. And it looks Pretty close, close enough. Good for winging it. <laughs> and then just filling in my little heel area as well. There we go. Very cute little boot. I like it. All right, we've got our base colors filled in. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of shadowing. I'm gonna take a darker gray and do a little bit of sort of like horizontal scruffy brush strokes all around where my boot sits here on my table or floor, just to give it a little sense of place. It'll look kind of like it's floating without those few little lines. Those few brush strokes make a big difference. And then I also like to kind of take some of that dark gray back here on the horizon with this painting. I think that looks nice and tidy and clean. And we're gonna do some more little final touches here in the toe part of the boot, but let's go ahead and move up into this top section again a little bit more, and we're going to do the outlining of our boot. So let's grab a little bit of black first, and oops, put my hand in my red. You gotta make sure I got my sleeves rolled up properly too. I'm just gonna try to do a quick outline and make sure I don't have drifts as well. When I'm painting, I paint for you guys flat on a table but when I'm painting just in my house, in my studio, I will often have it really close to me. 
um, pull it really close or sometimes I use a tabletop easel. I just bought like a big proper studio easel that I've been able to stand at recently too, but I'm going pretty far here to the top from where I'm sitting. <laughs> so feel free to get nice and close to get a nice slim line there. And now we're gonna do some decorations, which is gonna be kind of like the stitching on the boot. I'm gonna start with a line just on the center. And it's gonna sort of trail off nicely. There at the bottom. All right, and then this shape could be a little bit tricky. We're gonna kind of mirror either sides here. And this is also sort of a customizable step. If you want to do a different decoration, you're certainly welcome to. And I'm going to come from the top here and start with a little curved line like so. That sort of starts to curve around and then come off the other side. And then I'm going to try to mirror that On the other side, we're just gonna go piece by piece. Did I get that right? Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a chalice or something. A little chalice shape there. Okay, and then I'm going to do another just really simple one there and mirror it on the other side. So cute. And then Another curved line like so, and like so. That one was a little bit smaller, and that's okay. Okay, and then one more little decorative line up here and over here, kind of like a little curved V. So cute, oh my gosh, love it. All right, I'm going to just really quickly grab a little bit of light pink again and just make sure that I have a nice, solid, all filled in background here. And then I'm also going to grab a lighter pink as a beautiful highlight color. And I'm going to come down the sides here with a quick highlight. And then I'm gonna do a little highlight here in our little swoop section. Highlight over there. One right towards the front and then some down the center as well. We pulled a little bit of black into my highlight. Just pulling that up with a clean brush and coming back in for a quick little mend. And a little touch up and then a re-highlight. So try that again. Pretty cute. Okay, in any other place you want really. Very cute. All right, let's go ahead and add our flowers now. So hopefully our pink is mostly dry up here. And we're gonna start with our base colors. And I think I'll go ahead and start with my purple flower. And I'm gonna start, or flowers, I'm gonna start with a light purple, sort of medium, medium light. And I'm gonna do my flowers right over the edge of the boot. And I have that same brush. And I have to start in the center with a few kind of overlapping lines to build a circle. And as I go around and around, I sort of push out the petals. And then I usually get a pretty good shape just with the brush strokes alone. 
This top one, we're gonna have go off the top a little bit, and that's fine. So just a little bit. Okay, and then do another one over here. Just getting those base shapes and colors created and laid down in their places. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some pink roses as well. And I'm gonna do a lighter pink than the pink of my boot. You wanna make sure that you have enough contrast there. Okay, and I'm gonna do a big flower sort of front and center here and then another one right next door these are always so fun to do and you can fill up your bouquet however you see fit really and put some flowers in there, super cute. All right, I'm going to also add just a little bit of greenery as well. A little bit of green and yellow together. Same brush, rinsed it real quick. And then I'm just gonna come in here with a few little leaves as well. We're just gonna do a little sort of gentle swoop shape there and the leaves you want to be smaller than your roses by a little bit okay so cute all right very nice looks like our toe down here is mostly dry so i'm going to come back here with that same small brush. And I'm gonna do a quick little highlight here towards my toe and my heel, as well as sort of the curve of the foot and the front of the boot. Okay, and then we can even grab our teeny tiny little brush for the final little white details on here. I'm just going to do a few little swipes of white to highlight the heel. And then here at the front part of my little toe, I'm going to do some quick little hash marks, little stitches right there towards the boot toe, kind of in the middle there. Okay, very cute. And since we're down here, we can grab a little bit of white as a highlight in our table as well. I have like no paint on my brush, just a tiny, tiny little bit. If you wanna have a little bit of highlight down here, we're gonna add it up top so it'll all look nice and balanced here in a minute. All right, not too much. And then I'm gonna go back up top, finish off our gorgeous flowers. I'm going to grab a little bit of a dark purple with that same small, second to smallest brush. This guy here. And we'll add some shadows. You're kind of just going right on top of those same brush strokes from the four and doing some wet wet blending, but we let it get a little bit dry, a little tacky. Okay, nice. Some shadows there for our purple ones. Gonna grab some nice bright red here for our pink roses as well. Same idea, adding some shadow and some depth nicely there. 
and sort of accentuating the shapes. So cute. All right, and we'll take a second color of green into our leaves as well, just for a little added interest and depth. I just took a lighter version of that same color. It was the green and yellow mixed together. There, just added a tiny little pinch of white. And then we'll come in here with our black and white highlights and shadows over here as well. And that will sort of finish this top section off and our painting off today. I'm going to outline the outside and then I'll add a few, just a tiny little couple little brush strokes on the inside. Don't have to outline every single shape in here. It's more of like a shadow. Okay, but you do want to give the outside edges a good mostly outline. But then in the center parts here, this rose is kind of uh, either on maybe a side profile here or maybe it's a little bit smooshed. I like it that way though. Deliberately smooshed. And just taking that black in all around each of these shapes. And then a few brush strokes in the center. Just to kind of remind us of that rose shape. All right, if you are painting along today, I would love to see your work. And I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club. And it's designed for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along with me or from your own studio and imagination. We would love to have you over there. And there is a link in the description box to join. Okay. Looks good then. Last few brush strokes over here. Around my little leaves as well. So cute. Okay, and then tiny bit of white too. You want to make sure you got a clean brush. And we're just going to take a few brush strokes in each flower as a final little highlight. You don't want it to get too muddy, your colors, so you may need to clean your brush between. And that's looking pretty good. Everything is looking pretty balanced and cute. If you ask me, a nice, fun, and easy, whimsical beginner level painting for Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see you over in the art club, so don't forget to join us over there. And that is all the instruction that I have for us this week. So until next time, happy Valentine's Day and stay creative.